In this lesson, I just want to show you how to create some artwork that looks something like this. So what I'll do is I'll just show it to you in wireframe. So click down here, down the bottom right, and we'll see in wireframe it's quite a complex uh, artwork. So what we need to do is create a new page, type in the same sort of text, and what we want to do is duplicate it. So we'll click on this uh, arrow up here, which flies out these extra tools. We click the duplicate button, and then we're going to nudge this up 200 mil so it's out of the way and we can still see it. So what we want to do is create this reflection effect that we see on the other uh, artwork here, this sort of uh, reflection lighter color version. It's sort of like a chopped out effect. So to do that, what we need to do is uh, create a curve that creates that shape. So we go to these curve tools here, we fly out this curve, and we just basically uh, add the nodes where we need them to sort of create this wavy looking effect, which we're going to use to make our reflection. So here we've got to click uh, the close button to close that curve and we're going to actually intersect these two objects. So we select them together or I can draw a marquee over them like that. We go over here to the welding tools uh, and we fly that out and we click intersect. And as you can see we've now created that effect, that reflection. All we do now is we just move the uh, duplicated object down. I'll just change its colour so we can see it. I need to send that to the back and as you can see now we've got that wavy effect as a separate set of curves above the original text as you can see. And when I change the colors I can adjust them so that I can get that sort of sort of reflection that that creates. Okay and I can adjust this in the color tools here make it look quite a bit lighter and that that is now creating that sort of contrast and the next thing to do now is to create the outline effect and I can adjust that on screen using the on-screen controllers or I can go up to the second row of tools here which automatically adjust to whatever I'm working on which in this case is the outline effect and by fiddling and changing these colors I'm now starting to develop this contrast going on with the outline the reflection and the text underneath I'm starting to get that look and feel of that particular uh, artwork as you can see here okay so the next thing I'm going to want to do is probably add a, uh, a block shadow to this so I click this out here and I click on block shadow and again I can adjust this on screen or I can go up to the second row of tools again and adjust this block shadow. I can adjust the color, maybe just back it off a little bit and now I'm starting to get that 3D type effect. As you can see here it's sort of like a it's uh, it's like it's coming off the page now. Okay and I'm as you can see I can adjust these colors again just to sort of land on the right thing. I'm just fiddling around here, just showing you the sorts of effects you can do um, to get that that contrasting reflective look, as we can see there. Now I just click on this uh, outline tool down the bottom here in the heads up. I need to adjust this around a little bit. So what we do now is we, we basically fiddle around until we get the look we're looking for. And it's really quite easy. You just you just adjust all these settings as you can see in the second row here. And you can see I can move it up and down and left and right. And by fiddling around with it, experimenting, trying different things, and I can do it on screen as well, I'll eventually get to the sort of look I, I, I want to achieve. And it's really quite simple. And you've got all these extra effects you can add. I mean, you can keep adding more effects onto effects. But essentially that's what we're trying to do. We've now got something that looks quite similar to that original artwork and that just gives you a rough idea or a quick idea of where those tools and features are located and how easy it is to actually develop really good looking uh, eye-popping artwork like that. And that's the end of this lesson. Thanks.